The poppin' twist is poppin', y'all. I mean, how super solstice number one is this hair, guys? Come on, you can't tell me this ain't fly. It's taking me back to my roots. I love it. family happy 2022 22 in the house and if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome i am so happy to meet you and if you are one of my returning subscribers what's up sis happy 2022 it has been a minute since i have done a crochet review on my channel guys you know i have been all into the wigs but i have been watching our kind of people and getting all kind of inspiration from yaya da costa her hair is just gorgeous in every freaking scene. So I am back with another crochet tutorial reviewing the Free Trust Pop and Twist. But guys, before we get into the review, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the crew and the bell notification so you know anytime your girl is in the building. Now let's get to it. So I'm using a basic straight back braiding pattern using my Miko method, which is that row of individuals across the front to keep my crochet braids right at my hairline. And I connect my braids in the back. I always have a perimeter braid going along the sides and all the way back. Now, this is the hair that we're using. It's 24 inches long. I got the hair in uh, the color 1B. And like I said, the strands are pre-separated so you don't get any of that extra frizz from pulling the hair apart, which is nice because you get to keep this nice coily tip on the ends. Now I always start my crochet installation in the back right along that perimeter braid and I'm using the invisible knot method here which is basically pulling one strand of hair through the loop instead of both. The key to the invisible knot method is to insert the needle towards your part, or in this case my hairline, so the knot falls on the opposite side. And this is what the invisible knot method looks like when you're done. You can see it looks a lot more seamless and natural. So I've installed one and a half packs. I only use two packs total for this look because the hair is really, really full. So I space it out a lot in the back. So I'm just gonna finish installing the hair. I'm gonna leave one side exposed as you saw in the intro. Uh, so I only have a couple more braids to complete. In the front, I am using the invisible knot method again. I use the regular knot method in the back, but here I want my hairline to look more natural and I want that knot hidden. So you get that by using the invisible knot method. Now it's looking a little bulky in the front, so I'm gonna go in with my thinning shears and thin it out just a bit. Now you wanna make sure the serrated edge is on the top and all you do is go in and gently clip down the hair strand. That's gonna gradually remove the bulk. Make sure you don't press down too hard or you will cut the strand like I did here. In this case, it worked out. I just left it that way, clipped the rest of the hair and then tucked it under with a bobby pin. And you just repeat that process until you get your desired look. And I'm gonna add some gold thread accent to the side to give the style some pop. And it's super easy, you just thread it through with a crochet needle. I'm kind of mapping out where I want thread to lay, crochet it in, boom, you're done. And this thread I did not buy in the beauty supply store. I bought some bundles and this thread was tying them together. So I decided to keep it and use it for a hair accessory. And this is the finished look. Super cute, super cute. Now what I love about this hair over the outre is that it's pre-fluffed, pre-stretched, and pre-separated so you don't get any extra frizz. YouTube, I love this hair. This, this is like me all freaking day. I actually thought the 24 inches was gonna be shorter, but because the hair is pre-stretched, it wears, it falls a lot longer a lot longer than the than the outre spring twist. 
and 24 inches. All right, so I know what you really wanna know is how long you can wear this hair before it starts to look ratty. So whether I wear this hair a week or a month, I'm gonna come back and give you a final review and let you know how long this style will hold up before it starts to look ratty. But make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell notification so you don't miss the update. All right, family, that's gonna do it for this review. I'm gonna leave all the details about this hair below. Leave me some comments, let me know what you think. And before you get out of here, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can join the Fin Fabulous crew. And you always know when a girl is in the building, right? You gotta hit that bell notification too. All right, guys, love you. I'll see you next time, bye. She thinks she cute.